Good day, learners. I am Miss Tin, your Guru Kamigo. Welcome to another fun and exciting learning with me. Today, we are going to talk about open and closed circuit. At the end of this video lesson, grade 5 learners are expected to infer the conditions necessary to make a bulb light up. In the previous lesson, you have learned how light interacts with different materials. You also learned that optics is the study of refraction which refers to the bending of light as it passes through different materials. Reflection which refers to the bouncing back of light when it hits an object. Absorption refers to a material's taking in of light and not reflecting it back. And transmission that refers to the passing of light through some materials. This time, you will learn the conditions necessary to make a bulb light up. Look around your house. How many appliances do you see? How many are currently plugged into your wall outlets? Most households have several devices that make use of electricity. The number of appliances that you have at home shows how important electricity is in our everyday lives. How does electricity flow to your appliances? Two conditions must be met in order for electricity to flow. First, there must be a source of electricity. Second, there must be a complete path for the electricity to flow through. Grade 5 learners, look at the illustration carefully. It shows an electrical circuit which has four parts. A source, light bulb, wires, and switch. Bulb Helps detect current flowing through the circuit by lighting up. Battery Provides energy to the components in the circuit. Switch. It can make the circuits of the lights in your homes open or closed. Wire, used to connect the different components together. Look at the picture carefully. This is a setup of an open circuit. As you can see, there is a gap or no complete path from one end of the circuit to the other end. For this reason, electricity does not flow. In this setup, a wire is attached to the negative end of the battery while the other wire is attached to the positive end. Both wires are attached to the bulb. 
Such a circuit is called a closed circuit. A closed circuit makes the bulb light up because the path of electricity is complete, allowing electricity to flow through it. Grade 5 learners, for you to understand better the difference between open circuit and closed circuit, refer in this figure. The activity that you are going to perform will explain the conditions necessary to make a bulb light up. Learning Task 1. Prepare the materials listed below. If not available, you may use other materials at home to perform the activity. You may ask the help of your parents or guardians or any adult members of the family if needed. Learning Task 2. Label the parts of the electric circuit. Let's check your answer. Number 1, the correct answer is light bulb. Number 2, switch. Number 3, wire. Number 4, battery. Learning Task 3. Label the following circuit with open circuit or closed circuit. Let's check your answer. Number one, if you write closed circuit, you are correct. Number two, if you write open circuit, you are right. Number three, if you write closed circuit, that's another point for you. Number four, if you write closed circuit, perfect. Number five, if you write open circuit, you are correct. Grade 5 learners, to check your understanding about the lesson, you are going to read the question and choose the letter of the best answer. 
Number 1. It is the source of electrical energy. A. Battery B. Switch C. Wire D. Bulb Very good! The answer is letter A. Number 2. It is a circuit where electricity cannot flow. A. Open circuit B. Closed circuit C. Battery D. Switch Very good! The answer is letter A. Number 3. It connects the light bulb to the battery. A. Wire B. Source C. Open circuit D. Bulb Perfect! The answer is letter A. Number 4. It is used to open and close the circuit. A. Switch B. Source C. Circuit D. Bug Perfect! The answer is letter A. Number 5. It is a complete path of electricity. A. Closed circuit B. Switch C. Circuit D. Open circuit Very good! The answer is letter A. Reflect on what you learned about open and closed circuit. Complete the following statement. The part of the lesson I believe I learned most about is blank. The task which I found most challenging blank because blank. I realized that I can use what I have learned from this lesson when blank. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you had a great time learning with me. Thank you for watching. See you next time.